nice little smallie there. Yeah, we got a giant here. He's an aggressive little guy though. Up here on the Sanger River with none other than my main man John DuPont. Fishing current today. Going to first of many fish come. I'm going to teach you how we go catch fish in current. rivers here in Indiana where the water levels are kind of tapped out. Uh, they're dropping. Current is as minimal as it's probably going to be all season long. Little cute guys like this. And so when you're on a river or stream or creek whatever and there's minimal current, the best thing you do is go find the most current you can find. And we're way up uh, this river system. We're going to find more current in this. But throwing a little crankbait like this is a great way to use a search, use a search bait first thing in the morning and then we're going to slow down and the uh, sun comes up a little bit, probably slow down with some other baits. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They're getting bigger. Sometimes, little fish need love too. Bring it over on this side if you want. Oh, it's a big one. It's not a big man. Yeah, there you go. Stupid tube here. Come across a little bit of current along the brake wall. And, uh, well, it's kind of day's been so far. This is what fish is. Yeah. Oh, he almost hanged me. Back to current, strongest current we find all day. Salt and discharge. Stomach with this little guy. But he's been eating pretty good. We're in the deep summer like we are. Water's high, water's down, current's low. Find the best current you can. Fish are still gonna relate to it. see the stuff that I was pitched into and currents roll into it not very thick current obviously or a very heavy current but now gone it's definitely providing some protection and there's just a ton of minnows in this stuff it's like a rip on you there all right so there you go at least a large amount of today besides fishing cover current excuse me this is the kind of stuff that can really hold some better fish. Usually large mouth, but definitely can find some small mouth in there too. That fish bit it, and uh, it took a while to get out of there because he got tangled up in the wood. And tell you the truth, I wasn't sure he was still on there by the time he got in there. And threw a one ounce uh, tungsten, and uh, he bent my hook. I had to fix that, and huh, here we go. Let's see if we get some more.
Today definitely proved the obvious is that when you're in late summer, the current is down on any river or creek or stream, the fishing gets tougher. And today was no exception to that. We still caught a handful of fish. Well, <laughs> somebody caught a handful of fish. John, you have a good time fishing today? You know, it's always a good day fishing. Stay there. John? Dude, John, I just don't think you're very tough. There's still some more on her. It's fishy. Yeah! Bring that thing in the boat, John. Oh! I'm not setting the hook quite as well as that. That's really good. You're doing really good back here. Shut up. Yes, sir. Anyway, so we're in the St. Joe River in, in northern Indiana. And I will say, majority of the fish did buy a 200 series Bannock crankbait. Uh, crawdad colors. It's really what we were imitating. The water is exceptionally clear for a river, but it is that time of year. Water's pretty clear, and the crawdad colors always seem to crawdad with some brightness to it. Always seems to catch a few fish. You saw me catch fish on a jig, and of course, I'm using the 9K Leap Lures jig, and this is the color scheme that I was using today. And a stupid tube, which did not pan out. I really thought it would. John caught one early on on it. Anyway, I'm using Extreme Bass Tackle. I'm using the uh, bite me tube head for that. See how to rig that in my uh, most recent video on the Mississippi River. Just pull a link on that showing up right now. And when I went punching, using a bruiser bait right here. One ounce Rocky Brooks sinkers uh, flipping. Well, I can't say it, can I? One ounce sinker tungsten by Rocky Brook sinkers. I think that's another alternative always on any river is current which we got early and then of course going into the junk which could be flipping wood it could be uh slop pads we did have a couple of lobes on frogs missed every one of them i don't think they were quality fish i do think as the season continues as the summer progresses it stays hot we're going to get that indian summertime these types of ways to catch fish are actually going to get better especially things like the slop the wood thank you for watching Hope you enjoy the video. John DePont always provides a little comedic relief. Till the next time, hunters of fish will see you on the water. Yeah. I gotta preserve. I don't understand why we've always got a leaf fish.